Hey everyone, uh, Coin Metallurgist here. Um, and uh, let me just apologize now, and there will be uh, coins that will be destroyed in this video. Um, but what I want to do is I want to um, kind of destroy coins in some videos to show you um, different properties of some of the different coins or um, just kind of unique um, and fun different things we can do with coins. Um, so in this video, um, I want to kind of uh, start to look at the difference between um, copper pennies and zinc pennies. Now, um, most of you are probably aware of this, that in 1982, um, the United States switched um, from making their one cent coins out of copper, a copper alloy, to making them out of zinc plated with copper. So, um, the earlier coins are 95% uh, 95, 95 copper and uh, like 5% zinc and it's alloyed in. And they are solid. Um, it is the same material all the way through. The newer coins are 97.5% zinc and they have a very thin coating of copper on them. So on the outside they look like copper, but on the inside they're more of a white uh, silvery color, the color of zinc. Um, so what I've done is I have a, a zinc penny here that is cut in half and I have a zinc penny here where I have filed um, just a certain uh, spots of it. Now the reason why I've done this is uh, because um, copper is uh, very resistant to uh, corrosion um, whereas zinc um, is very easily corroded. So what we're going to do is we're going to take these zinc pennies that are coated with copper and we're going to uh, put them in an acid and we're going to corrode the uh, zinc out or essentially dissolve it into the acid. Um, it will react with the acid but there will be a hollow shell of the copper penny left. So we're going to essentially make hollow pennies. This one will just uh, you'll be able to see from the side and this one will be able to just see will be completely empty. Now um, and before we get into this um, some things you should be aware of. Um, using acids um, can be very dangerous. Um, the acid we're going to be using um, in this video um, is commonly referred to as um, let me back up a little bit more um, muriatic acid. Okay, you see the warnings on here. Danger, poison, causes severe burns, vapor, harmful, may be fatal if swallowed, may cause blindness if splashed in eyes, um, and it's corrosive. So we need to be very careful when handling this. Um, this acid is actually a hydrochloric acid, and so it's 31.45% hydrochloric acid. Um, that's a very high percentage. Um, you know, things like toilet bowl cleaner will have a very, very small percentage of this to, to clean um, different applications. So um, some safety precautions we'll be taking is um, we will be using uh, glass Pyrex um, containers um, to put the acid in. Uh, we'll be wearing safety glasses to avoid um, any potential splashes in the eye. Um, and we won't contact this with our skin. We will use uh, plastic gloves, nitile gloves, and we'll use tweezers to pick the pennies up and put them in the acid. Uh, I have two uh, containers. I'll put the acid in one, and in the other I'm going to put water um, so that when I'm all done, I'll take the pennies out of the acid and rinse them off in the, in the water. Um, and the other thing is to avoid um, vapors. Um, we will be uh, doing this little um, presentation outside. So I'm going to move outside, set this up, and uh, let you see uh, what the pennies um, look like when they're in the acid, and then we'll come back um, in here and we'll look at the hollowed pennies at the end. Hey guys, uh, I've moved outside and set up. Um, got my safety, uh, my personal protective equipment on. I got my gloves on and my safety glasses here. Um, I've added water to our uh, rinse one and I've already placed the uh, two zinc pennies and the copper penny here in 
uh, this empty one and getting ready to now uh, put the acid in. Um, now I want, uh, as my goal here is to uh, pour this in uh, real gently and not have much splashing. Um, I already got a little bit here on the concrete um, when I was taking the lid off and um, rather not um, continue that. Now I'm not um, sure how uh, long this will take so um, as this goes on um, I'll have you sitting here uh, watching it up close on a time lapse. Um, I think it'll be pretty quick um, but uh, watch that and uh, we'll get back to it um, after they're hollow. Okay, uh, the pennies are done um, soaking in the acid and they are, the zinc pennies are essentially hollow shells. Um, I wish you could all uh, feel them because it's like, you know, it's like aluminum foil. It's just a really thin foil. The coating of, of copper they put on these coins is is quite thin um, but um, you look at in contrast the copper penny that was soaking in there the whole time and it's uh, completely untouched from the acid um, and so since they've switched to the cheaper zinc uh, coin um, for the one cent coin uh, it makes sense why they have to coat it in copper or plate it um, because otherwise, um, the zinc um, coins wouldn't hold up. They uh, need this thin little layer to protect them. Um, but just a cool experiment, a little fun. Um, and like I said, I really wish each of you could you could hold these because they're just so light and just so thin and flimsy. Um, but I had a lot of fun um, uh, doing this little experiment and uh, uh, making this video, and I hope you enjoyed it. Um, it did take uh, longer um, in the acid than I was expecting. There you can see the light through the backside just barely. Um, Uh, thank you all for watching and have a wonderful evening.